the HD video series by Airwolf 3D. In installment number two, we'll begin by putting on the glass with the PET film on top. Install the clips on the four corners of the glass. On the front left corner, make sure to give yourself three to four inches of clearance. This allows the extruder to home itself without hitting the clip. We are now ready to preheat the machine, insert the filament, and begin the calibration process. Enter the menu by pushing the select button in the middle of the Vicky. Select prepare, and then preheat ABS. This will now heat the bed in the extruder to ABS temperatures. The A and B LED lights will turn red with heat. We will now load the filament by inserting through the rear hole of the machine where it says filament. Squeeze the extruder latch together and pull out the pin. Pull down the latch and we'll now insert the filament to the bottom. Find the small hole, push the filament in. It may be a little tight at first, but this will break in over time. Make sure the filament enters the tube. We want to make sure that the material gets pushed all the way down in the tube and into the extruder head. When material starts flowing outside the nozzle, that means that we've inserted the filament correctly. Now close the filament latch and insert the pin. The filament is now loaded into the machine and ready to print. You're now going to want to remove any extra material coming out of the nozzle. Be careful to touch the tip as it's very hot. Now locate the Z adjustment screw on top of the machine in the top left corner. Turn it clockwise four turns. This assures that the nozzle is plenty high off the bed. Locate the micro SD card and insert it into the Vicky. Make sure it's inserted correctly and it says card inserted on the screen. We are now going to select the calibration file which is located on the micro SD card. Enter the menu and select print from SD. We'll now select first print. This will begin the calibration process. This procedure will not only calibrate the machine, but also test the speed of the X, Y, and Z axis, make sure the fan's working, and also test the LED lights. The first thing that will happen is that the Z axis will lower. While this is taking place, take a piece of paper and fold it in half. This will act as a gauge to ensure proper distance between the nozzle and the bed. At this time, make sure that the fan is running correctly and that the LEDs are on. The nozzle will also heat to 150 and the bed will begin heating as well. Now test the speed of the X and Y axis. The exterior will now locate itself in the center of the heat bed. Take your piece of paper, place it between the nozzle and the glass. The gap is too large. Take your Z adjustment screw and adjust it a quarter turn counterclockwise. If the piece of paper will not fit, turn the Z adjustment screw clockwise by a quarter turn. You have a few tries to get this correct. 
the nozzle will now locate itself to the front left corner of the heat bed. Slide your piece of paper again between the nozzle and the heat bed. Now we will do a fine adjustment with the bed screw. Adjust the screw clockwise or counterclockwise until the paper fits snug. Repeat this step on the next three corners. I'll repeat this process again just to make sure you have all the adjustments right. process is complete, the extruder will home itself. At this time, apply the goo to the bed to get proper adhesion from the ABS. The exterior will now heat to 240 degrees Celsius. The Z-axis will now lower while everything's getting to temperature. Once it raises back up, it'll meet the nozzle and begin the calibration print. It will now print a large rectangle along the edges of the glass. This ensures that the left and right are calibrated properly, as well as the front and back. Make sure that you don't get any inconsistencies in the print. You want to make sure that the line has the same thickness all throughout the entire rectangle. If you're getting any kind of transparencies in the print, that means that your nozzle is most likely too low. The nozzle will then go around one more time just to make sure that the bed is level. process is now complete and you're ready to begin your first prints. Thank you for watching.